Hello, welcome to another video. We're going to do implicit differentiation and we're going to take the second derivative of y. So let's start from the basics, okay? We're going to take the derivative, isolate y prime or dy dx, and then take the derivative a second time and apply any relevant rules that are there. Well, let's not waste time. Let's get into the video. So the first thing we're going to do is to take the implicit derivative of y because y is also in the argument of natural log so it has to be implicit differentiation. So we say that y is equal to ln of x plus y then we try to say dy dx will be equal to, well, whenever you take the natural log of, uh, I mean, the derivative of a natural log function, this is the rule I always say, take the derivative of the argument and place it on the argument. So we're going to have x plus y under, and the derivative of what's here, differentiate this with respect to x, you get 1, differentiate this with respect to x, you get dy dx. dy dx, this is over 1, we can cross multiply, and then what we have will be um, dy dx times x plus y will be equal to 1 plus dy dx. So now I can distribute this and say, let's say x dy dx plus y plus y dy dx equals 1 plus dy dx. So I can collect all the dy dx somewhere and leave one here. So I can say, if I take all the dy dx to one side, I'm going to have dy dx times, I'm going to have x plus y. And then I'm going to, if this goes over here, it becomes minus one. Okay, that's what I have. And on the right hand side, I have one, which implies that dy dx is equal to 1 over x plus y minus 1. Okay, so we've gotten dy dx. Now let's get the 2y dx squared, which is y double prime. So if we differentiate this one more time, um, what if I rewrote this as, let's write this as x plus y minus 1 raised to negative 1, so that if I differentiate one more time, d2y dx squared will be equal to, if I take the derivative of this, this becomes minus 1 times x plus y minus 1 multiplied by the derivative of the inside. Now let's differentiate the inside. It's going to be 1 plus dy dx minus 0. Well, this becomes 0, and that's it. So, this is, oh, this is to the second power, <laughs> minus 2. Okay, so when you bring down this 1 here, you have to subtract 1 from this, and that's what we've got. So, now, we can write this actually as minus 1 over x plus y minus 1 squared multiplied by 1 plus what is dy dx again? We said dy dx was this, so we can write this as 1 over x plus y minus 1. Okay, so we're multiplying. Mm. You know what I'm going to do? I am going to rewrite this as a single expression so that this will be equal to minus 1 over x plus y minus 1 squared times, this becomes x plus y minus 1 plus 1 over x plus y minus 1. Okay, and what does that say? It means I can simplify this so that this is equal to, let's still write minus 1 over x plus y minus 1, and this becomes minus 1 plus 1 is just x plus y. So this is x plus y divided by x plus y minus 1. Oh, this is squared, and this is just 1. And we're multiplying. So when you multiply this by this, multiply this by this, 
what do you end up with? You end up with minus right in the center, and you have x plus y minus 1 cubed, and on top you have x plus y. This is d2y dx squared. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.